Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about something. Um, I want to talk to you because you're watching this, of course. I want to know why didn't you subscribe? Don't you like my content? Don't you like the videos? You know that only 10% of the people that watch my videos are uh, subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe for more awesome content and uh, write down below uh, what would you like to see next. So without further ado, let's get into the subject. There are two major questions in the QA field, but uh, let's break them down step by step. First one, as you can already see, I've uh, dressed up for this one. I've got a jacket on. So we're talking business now, of course. As a QA, you have to make a choice. Do you want manual or do you want automation? What would you do? What would you choose? What do you want to do next? Well, let me help you with something. As a manual tester, of course, um, you're going to test a lot of things. You can test from, I don't know, um, desktop projects, mobile, web. Uh, you can only imagine the possibilities here. Um, it's, it's the same for automation. Don't, don't get me wrong. There are no projects that you can say you can only do manual or you can only do automation. Uh, most of the projects have mixed teams of manual and automation uh, colleagues. But um, what I've seen in the last few years, let's say, there's a trend for a mix. So uh, very rarely there are projects that require only manual or only automation. But uh, most of the projects right now or most of the clients right now are looking for, um, let's say, a mix. Somebody that knows how to do uh, manual, how to test and everything. And also to be able to implement some automated tests to ease up their work. Because let's be honest, who wants to do regression all day? Do you want to do the same test? Let's say not all day because you don't do regression all day, of course. But every new build, do you want to do the same regression test manually, like 10 hours a day and eight hours a day, just run and run and run the same regression test? No, of course, everybody wants to automate. So also you, if you're watching this and you're a manual tester, don't forget, you can do something about it. Just analyze how you could ease up your work. Just automate something. Um, I don't know. You can start by scripting if you don't know any language, any development language. But you can also look it up. Uh, there are uh, numerous of solutions which are free out there. So, conclusion is here. What would you like to do? Do you like to investigate? Do you like to dig into issues? Do you like to look up servers? Do you like to check out the logs? Do you like to in trace down every issue? then maybe you should stick with manual. Do you like to write automatic automation tests? Do you like to see how a framework is developed to write a framework from zero, to extend it, to, I don't know, to automate things, let's just say. Then you should choose automation. Or maybe if you enjoy a little bit of, dope, of both, just why don't you choose a position where you can do both? Because uh, at, at the level the industry is growing right now, you have the possibility to do whatever you want and uh, choose a company that offers you what you want and the support needed for that. Okay, so this was one, manual automation. I want to talk about something else. Um, most people before starting in this industry have to make a big decision. I mean, uh, there are some options, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's say you want to choose QA or dev. Where do you go? Do you want to be a QA, you want to test, do you want to be a dev? Which uh, writes code all day, implements new things. It depends on the projects, of course. As a dev, you can um, be on several projects. You can be a dev for backend, for UI, or uh, frontend, I mean frontend, backend, of course. Or as a tester, same situation. You could be on a, pro on a backend project where you have to look up servers or you can be on the UI. You have to test the website. You have to test the application. You have to test the mobile app. It's, yeah, but you need to know what do you want to do next. Um, let's say that most people know this and this is a known fact that uh, devs get paid a little better than QA. This is not something that I'm um, saying. This is that everybody's saying that um, as a dev, that dev salaries are a little bit higher than the QA. But from my point of view, it's not only not 
everybody should pursue money. Money is not everything. What do you enjoy doing? Do you enjoy testing? Do you enjoy debugging? Go with testing. Do you enjoy coding? Go with dev. So, the options are here. Everything is in your hand. Okay. That was it. Was it hard? These are the, let's say, top two questions that everybody asks before joining the industry. Uh, what should I do? Dev, QA. Um, if I'm a QA, what should I choose? Manual, automation. It's up to you. It's your choice. Don't forget. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit uh, comment down below with uh, what made you choose between manual, automation. What are you doing right now? Are you a dev? Are you QA? What kind of project are you? And uh, we'll see how many people are here and how is the uh, industry split up. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.